Good morning, guys. We have an emergency here at the shop. I just got a call from an officer that he got a call that somebody's stranded and we need to go. They're stranded in their house. They need medical assistance like ASAP. I do not have these guys on my list. This street I've never heard of. And so we are running over there right now this morning and I got a new uh, I'm just throwing on my shrubs. I don't really need them on but you know just in case it's literally five in the morning I just woke up so I don't know uh, I think I was the closest one so the police called me but just real quick let me pull up the map you know I'm, I'm hauling boys so it's gonna be it's this road right here right off interstate 35 and then I believe it's this home right here or it's down the way more we're gonna have to figure that out it's kind of weird because it's like not an official road so I don't have responsibility of clearing this I don't know what's wrong but these people need medical assistance and they're snowed in so I am hauling yeah it's like five in the morning but we got a new truck as well when it gets sunnier like as the sun comes up I will show you guys it it's a power stroke you can already hear and we are just moving down the road right now if you guys haven't already please check out g portal five percent off link in the description you can get a discount if you use that link for your next dedicated server really good i run dedicated servers on pretty much all my stuff and on the farm server i'm running so go check it out guys i also have a video describing how to set it up if you're curious so also look for that thanks guys so i'm just about to hang a right here we are moving good thing i do have my shrubs on i there's not that much traffic at five in the morning though all right, slow, 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 slow. I didn't stop for like really any stop signs. I mean, I kind of had to stop for that one because I had to turn. There we go, get the speed back up. But our 7.3 liter power stroke, it's a one ton dump truck. It's running really, really good. I got black or er, red in the front. Oh, it's a really good truck running really good, but it looks like we haven't cleared off some of these roads. Okay, so on my way back, I'm gonna make sure to do that. All right, this is, uh, we are going probably a little too fast for these. All right, and there's snow. No, slow down, slow down. I can't get stranded. These people are relying on me. I better slow it down just a bit. Let me go ahead and put my plow down so I don't get perfect. We're just probably going a bit too fast. Okay, I think the road is coming up here in a second. All right, here's the road. We haven't got to either. Yeah, we don't, we aren't even in this region. All we did was get the highway. Those two houses, we haven't got it either. So this is a private drive, it looks like. It's not even listed as a, I'm um, surprised I got, I think they gave me an address of that house. But I, they were describing it, and I believe it's right down this road here. But it is cement. It's not dirt. All right. We are moving. I'm taking the left lane because I don't really care. I'm just getting down here. Should probably go a bit slower. This is thick stuff, guys. This is the deep, deep snow. And then this mod is also made by Expendables. So thank you, guys. Expendables modding group. This is. It sounds really, really good. I believe it's just the 7.3 liter converted with a... Uh, with a dump truck on the back or like a dump bed on the back end it's a super good mod and i love this truck and then we got dualies on the back and i got some off-road tires too so really really cool truck this is uh one of my dream mods these this is a nice nice setup here i'll show you guys once it gets brighter all right here we go i believe this is the house wait a second no it's not that's not the right address that's not the house it must be further down here God, I hope I'm going the right way. This would be terrible. Probably going a bit too fast, too. That would be really, really bad. Okay, I think there's the house there. They got the lights on. All right, slow down, slow down. These corners are really, really hard. There we go. Now we're turning dirt road. This is a little not very well-maintained road whatsoever. Push, push, push. Some thick drifts in here. Alright, what I need to do is I need to open this up. And then I think the ambulance should be coming any second. They said just clear it. They were on a call right now. This is, like, this is a pretty small town. And then they were going to be there ASAP. So I'm going to make sure that this is clear that they can pull in. I'm not worried about clearing the rest of this place. And then I just need to make sure they can pull out. So let me... Alright, that's probably good. Let's get this snow out of here so they can actually not get stuck with their ambulance that would be probably nice there we go push 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 all right this is uh this is thick stuff i maybe should have brought a bigger truck but i we're, we're gonna be able to get through it just fine i think there we go 
This dirt road is just bad. I'm going to call him and say, be careful pulling in. It's not the smoothest job I've ever done. All right, switch it over. There we go. So now they can pull in and actually get this done. I need to get out of the way because I'm sure they're going to come around and I can't. One of us is going to get stuck if we are face to face on one of these roads. There we go. Widen this for him. Okay, I think I see their lights way off. I can't hear the sirens, but I think I see some flashing light. It could be one of my guys out here. I know we got some plowing going on. All right, I need to I need to widen this guy. And then I think the plan is I'm going to let them pull in, do their work, and I'll head back down here and uh I'm going to go talk to these guys, their neighbors and see if they want me to clear that for them. Because it looks like it hasn't been cleared and it's been like two days, two, three days. So I'm going to go see if they need my services. And if they do, uh, I seem to have a lot of success with that when I do run into that. And then we do, we just got hung up on something. So this is still, this is a dirt road. I thought this was not a dirt road. All right. I messed up over here. Switch the plow. There we go. That, that is a huge pile. There we go. Keep her going. Keep her going. So, yeah, I'm going to, you know what? I'm not going to come back down this road because I'm worried they're going to be sprinting down here. Sirens blaring everything. And then I'm going to be in their way. So I just want to make sure that this is cleared out so they can actually pull in, do their work. Let me come around here. All right. No, I might have made it worse. Okay, I need to hurry up. I thought I saw their sirens. It must not have been them. But they're going to be here any second. There we go. The thing I really like about this truck too is it backs up super quickly. Not the best turning radius, but it backs up and goes forward really quick. All right, that was, that was honestly pretty quick. And then I got a new Fisher plow on the front that I'm testing out, actually demoing. And so I might purchase one, but I haven't. I don't own the plow on here. Pretty good plow so far. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually plow this guy's place for him as I wait to make sure the ambulance doesn't get stuck. All right, the ambulance just screamed by just a moment ago and I just knocked on this guy's door. He said he would like me to plow it and then I'm gonna go talk to the neighbor too. He says he doesn't really know the neighbor, but they haven't plowed as well. So these guys have been stranded for a while here. I don't know. He said he just doesn't have the equipment to do it and he was meaning to call somebody, but here I am. I'm gonna clear this up for him. And then the ambulance went right on through. So it looked like they went through. I can't really, I'm afraid to go back down there. Cause like I said, if I go down and they're leaving, somebody has to, uh, you know, it could be a collision or, you know, work. it's in my costume sometimes. So I'm going to stay out of their hair as they do work there. But I think we should be good. That road cleaned up pretty well. I, honestly, quite a bit better than I thought. They said abandoned road, got worried. It was going to be bad, like dirt road. It wasn't the best, but. It was for sure manageable. So we're gonna go ahead, clear out these roads here, but oh my goodness, I think I can breathe the sigh of relief. There we go, boys. So I, what I should have done, I don't have any workers out this morning. I, I will here in about an hour, guys will start going. But if I would have had workers with me, man, we could have got everybody over, that would have been, that would have been really nice if I had like Carbonado out here and everybody and they would have been able to help, so. That's too bad, though. We'll keep pushing here. Clean this driveway up. And let me go run over to the neighbors. And I think we just got two new customers. If this guy... Uh, what I like to do is I like to pull in. Plow a spot. Obviously, they want the driveway plowed. I like to plow a pass. And then say, would you like me to continue plowing? And if they say yes, then I do the whole thing. And they're new customers. So, that's kind of the thought. Or the the business model I guess I'm doing when I pull in here like this all right we're I'm gonna knock on his door see what he has to say but look so if I if I'll just leave if he doesn't want me to do any more so yeah I did help him out but you know what I'm saying all right that man was really nice and thankful that we came here I actually said the first one was gonna be on us he's like yeah I 
he said he meant to call me too and he never did so we have two new customers then this guy i'm not even charging he was just he was such a nice guy he actually saw me pull in and clear that dirt road uh and said how, how nice it was of me and then he saw the ambulance he doesn't know the people down there but yeah i don't know pretty nice guy we gave him his first job off here and that's probably the most i can clear for him with the plow i'll have some the other crew come down and clean up the rest there we go all right what i'm gonna do now is i'm actually gonna head down there make sure they didn't get stuck nobody i would assume they would call me but nobody has talked to me or said anything and i'm gonna make this a bit better i don't see any lights coming down here so i'm gonna risk it real quick i just don't want to get caught on this road where i have to back up and slow those guys down rather than they could go you know 40 50 miles an hour down this road where i can't back up that fast so let me hurry up here they've gone a bit too fast i don't want to end up in the ambulance and then i want to pull off into this guy's place and plow this for him all right i just got done talking to the the ambulance just went down the road really nice guys everything they actually told me the story everything turned out all right it was just an older gentleman and his wife was concerned because he hadn't gotten you know refill on his medication he couldn't get out of the house nobody was bringing it to him the roads were blocked and he was like acting funny or something they didn't tell me too much about like his medical problems um i didn't even really ask either but he's all right and everything's taken care of and they really appreciated how i came in and plowed this so that was really really nice of them so yeah stress is gone we literally opened up like a stranded house which is really cool don't have the opportunity to do that mostly you know it's like residential places and you know we're just plowing street but that had some purpose to it and this and the 7.3 liter performed perfectly once i get this done i want to do a run through show you guys the truck and show you all its little features and everything i think it's a really really good mod and really recommend it strong modders who made it it's worked really good all right so we just got done with this place i am heading back to the shop holy cow we need to almost refill here too let me go ahead turn off the lights and yeah check out the truck here guys we have a 7.3 liter yeah let me just honestly pull off here three liter power stroke we have the fisher plow on the front you know just a normal it's not a v plow it's just a high quality plow and then it comes with lights the whole nine yards and then this is a uh, a dump truck in the back here now they a dump bed which is going to come in handy i want to I don't know what we'll do with this. I want to bring it over to our excavating company, landscape company. And this looks like a really good truck. We have the mud tires on, duels in the back, nice side toolboxes here. Really cool truck. This would be, what else would look cool is if we just did a flatbed with this as well. But I really like the dump bed. And then interior, pretty clean. Nothing special, just a really clean truck. Whenever I see a mod and I see the gauges work, I know somebody took their time made it right and then it's like a safe good mod to run so i like this a lot clean clean setup plus we got the light bar and i like the strobes in the back and expendables made it so i already knew it was a good mod before i downloaded there we go scaring the birds away as we pull in we absolutely knocked out like so many we did a lot of work we helped people out feels good that's gonna wrap up today's episode guys i gotta get back to work we're gonna i gotta manage i have two new employees starting this this monday this week so that's gonna be exciting the blizzard did not hit you know i don't know when it's gonna snow again we still have a few more places to clear up but other than that guys there's really not that much going on but i hope you know hope we can get some more snow here soon so thanks for watching peace out guys and i'll see you in the next one